We continue on creative cities and ciudades creativas and we are going to talk now with Silvia Muñano. It's a professor on the University of Milan, Bicocca. Good morning, Silvia. Good morning. Why did you decide to come to this event? Well, I think there are two reasons for that. The first one is because it's a combination of um, the presenter of um, uh, the policy aspect and the other are people from academia so it's a good mixture of people and talking about creativity you need to combine together these two elements and the second aspect is that there is a, a very high percentage of people from Central and South America and uh, the, the creative uh, debate on uh, creative industry is not much about we don't know much about it so I, I was very happy to come and Thank you. Your speech is called, Is Milan a creative city? Could you explain your main arguments? Well, Milan partially is a creative city because like the 31% of people working in Milan are working in the creative sector. But if you look at the cultural offer and all the policy towards creative uh, industry, they are very, uh, the, the policies are very weak. So the problem is that uh, there is a, a number, a good number of workers and people living there that are involved in the creative, uh, the creative industry, but not, probably is not a really creative city. Uh -huh, okay, uh, your investigation is about urban transformation. How this combine with creativity? Well, what is happening in Milan that one fourth of the city is under uh, transformation because uh, we have passed from an industrial, a post-industrial society and so most of the uh, factories has closed down. So there are empty spaces that uh, are now used by creative uh, people to settle down their business there. So uh, that's why tra urban transformation and creative industry can be combined together. Thank you very much for the interview, Silvia. Thank you to you. We have talked with Silvia Muñano, she is professor on University of Milan di Coca.